Is this thing on? How can you tell? I don't know. I, I think we're on. No way. began taking Rigator brand male enhancement pills, I've noticed quite a difference. They say Rigator is the only male enhancement pill that guarantees a 24-hour erection. Rigator provides Woody with the sustained operational capability that all men crave and, as a woman, I welcome. Rigator is only available with a doctor's prescription, so be sure to relentlessly harass your doctor and their family about it until they finally give in. Nothing makes me feel more feminine than knowing my husband's libido thrives not because of me or the emotional bond we've nurtured through decades of toil and commitment, but with a bottle of pills that cost $8 each. Side effects are mild and may include headache, dizziness, dry mouth, and defecation of the entrails. If you have an erection that lasts more than a week, consult a physician immediately, or at least after you're finished. I, I can't feel my leg! Oh, Woody. Silent. A man walks by. Dirt. More dirt. Hey, that was great. Sensational. Terrific. What is it? Take this. TV show in 2002 on a, on a local TV station in Stillwater, Oklahoma. And the idea was to showcase regional music and uh, spice it up with comedy and satire. And, you know, really just we wanted to have fun and hope that the audience would have fun with us. It, and really that's what it's, it's grown now into um, playing videos from people all over the country. And, uh, and we're still having fun. Broadcasting a code through our microwave to your television at the line to pick up the The Pain County Film Festival in Red Dirt Roundup. Featuring Randy Bromley. Smart glasses. If you wear smart glasses, you'll be 100% smarter. Look at this guy. He's dumb. He puts the smart glasses on. He's 100% smarter. He's a lot smarter. Be smart. Wear smart glasses. We're downtown Stillwater, Oklahoma, and this is where it happens. Right here, we're outside in the heart of red dirt country, right here in Stillwater, folks. We were trying to come up with a way to uh, give us some thrust, you know, get the word out, and uh, just some way to promote the show. One way to get people to watch the show is to get a lot of local people on the show. You know, they watch themselves on TV and tell all their friends and family to watch. You know, it, it's, a, it's an old trick, but it works. Rex came up with an idea to have a table set up at a local watering hole and get the Quim cam out there and lights and, and uh, you know, kind of let people show off their improvisational skills and, and we'll call it the Red Dirt Talent Roundup. Rob Baby, go! Hey, it's Randy Bromley here. Bromley? Yeah, you know, we're doing a little uh, promotional thing in uh, Stillwater. We're... It's hot, it's not, sir, I love this! Yeah, it's a Red Dirt Roundup. Red Dirt Roundup, what's that? 
It's like an audition, you know. Auditions? We're gonna rock hard. Okay, what up, baby? Still are, you know. Fort Park? Yeah. In a college town? That's all the rage. Yeah, go, baby. Go, yeah. Rob, baby. No, we need kitsch. We need lots of it. Yeah, lots of kitsch. kitsch. If you can give me the kitsch, we can play it. Major kitsch. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm talking about yeah. kitsch. Beautiful. We're gonna do the kitschy thing. You know, Bradley, you know what I like about you? You got sass. You got sass and you got moxie. You got S and M. Who doesn't love that? And Quartz Sports Bar has graciously agreed to host the event. And it'll be perfect because you know you got the big you got a big screen TV. We can let the crowd in the main room watch the frivolity, and which in and of itself will be a lot of good TV. You know, I think. Rob, baby, go. It's Randy Brownlee here. Brownlee. Red Dirt Round. Red Dirt Round. Yeah, it's fantastic. We got a book this Wednesday. It's going to be big. You know what? What's the deal about the chamber or something? Yeah. No, I checked with the chamber. That ordinance was written way back in 1890s. All right, man. You're not going to bring any colonies and bitches, are you? Well, obstacle. No, perfect. This is going to be big. I've been spreading the word all week. All week. Hold on a second. I want to get in the mood. We, had, we ordered kits yesterday. We ordered oh, like three. Three. How? This is big. This is huge. I'm telling you. Press release at the local paper uh, in the Ocali. We put up flyers all around town and on campus. We're hoping for a good turnout, though you never know. It could be the joke is on us. But I gotta make some more phone calls. He didn't bring a long enough cable. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Greg Brown, or that's a lot of them. I was just testing the signal there. Looks like we've got a good signal there. Looks like that coax cable is working good for us there. Hi! Little makeshift little studio set up here for people to uh, to come in and uh, audition with our Quim camera, the Quim cam, right there, and uh, they would improvise on on what they're, uh, they're supposed to do. And this one is a fantastic dancer. So, you know, I'll just give you an example. Yeah. You know, I would be getting my group on. But... Hello, hi, y'all. Yeah. Let's go outside, was. It's a nice night here in Stillwater. It's lovely outside. As you see out here, we have outside. Beautiful crescent type moon, you may see, looking upon us with uh, hope. hope. Well, it's like the turnout's uh, you know, a little light, but uh, you know. See what happens over here. So we have actually, this is one of the few occasions where you have actually the cameraman outnumbering the subjects. Court, court bar. This is our uh, crowd here. Uh, like put on the smart glasses and 
he uh, would he was real smart, and then he took him off and got dumb. He was just really funny. That's original. Yeah, it was good. Were there any others? Uh, yeah, yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was a lot How many fun. auditions were there? One. In the world of global business, there are those who lead and there are those who follow. Why do we excel when competitors fail? Because we're dicks. Why do we always profit? Because we're dicks. Why do we force suppliers to export jobs to maintain margins? Because we're dicks. Why do we tout our employee health plan when over half our workforce doesn't qualify for coverage? Because we're dicks. Why do we buy water rights in third world countries? And because we're dicks. In today's global business climate, one company stands tall, Dick's Industries.
wake of recent scandals and record SEC fines, we here at the Red Dirt Roundup are concerned about untoward influences in today's society, especially coming from the media elite, which quite frankly is us. So in addition to avoiding banned words as per to wit the FCC bylaws, we will also avoid words and phrases which, although aren't dirty, just sound dirty, like spit and polish and pipe cleaner and shaved ham. You will never see us refer to or depict a round Roger or a salty Hernandez because those words are meaningless. We just made them up. In our solemn pledge to avoid anything that even sounds dirty, this isn't just lip service. We canceled a travel piece to the Booby Rocks locale in the Galapagos Islands and Dana's vacation pictures from Big Bone Lick State Park. We also canceled an interview with St. Louis Cardinal slugger Albert Pujols. We take this pledge to you, the viewer, very seriously, and we'll only break it if it clearly runs counter to our own self-interest. Thank you. Yeah, we're close, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you got it's guitar heaven in here. Washburn. Oh, I guess. Yeah, we're uh, we're we're closed up. Uh, maybe you can come back tomorrow. Baby, right here. Yeah, I like that. You like country? bubble burst in the 90s. There were thousands of high-tech professionals forced to hit the streets. Some of those workers sought jobs elsewhere in the industry. Some left the IT workforce for more stable positions, and others left the workplace altogether. Today, a growing number of former technology workers exist in a strange new demographic, best described as the upper-class homeless. Where's my home, man? James was a system analyst at a prominent e-commerce corporation. The company went bankrupt two years ago, and James has been on the streets ever since. He traded in his Palm Pilot for a skateboard. Yo, man, this has been my streets for, you know, probably since a long time. I was, like, a little kid, man. Always been coming down here. We'd go down here, and we'll go skate, man. We'll go come down here, you know, we'll like uh, maybe pick up a Wall Street Journal, have a cappuccino, you know, we'll maybe go, you know, skate. I I don't think it's right, man, why, you know, coming in here, you know, and these people come in here with their, you know, their fancy cars and their, you know, laptop computers, 
you know, I, I don't know. It's just kind of... I was sitting down at Starbucks with some friends, you know, and we're talking about this, you know, it's ridiculous. I mean, it just, it, it ain't right, you know, it ain't right. My 401k is in the toilet, you know, I just want to come down here and escape. And, and I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. This has been my streets, man. This has been my streets. Go downtown in most any American city and you'll see them. They're lurking in alleys and coffee shops, hiding near the closest gap. Find a public access computer and you're likely to see dozens of them. Man, you know, I'm like big time. I, I'm in the, you know, doing Mr. Administrative Director, you know, and I'm Mr. IT. And, you know, I got my stock options. I've been there, man. I'm through with that, man. I just, I just want to escape, man. I'm, I'm down here in my Jones, man, I just want to escape. I'm through with all that, you know, and, and so, uh, you know, I don't want to hear, I don't want to get no grief, I don't want to hear about no stories of, of, oh, well, they, you know, took away all my stock options, and, man, I've heard that song before. James died three weeks after this documentary was filmed. A contaminated shipment of coffee beans from Madagascar were blamed. Welcome to Gilburn's Theater of the Air, brought to you by Gilburn Corks, the corks for the 21st century. Tonight we present the avant-garde monologue, Letter to Edna, by Ernst Gottlieb. I don't know. Points on the obscure Johnny Cash reference, by the way. Huh? Points on the obscure Johnny Cash reference, by the way. Oh, thank you. One piece of telling. Yeah. That was his daddy's favorite song. I woke up in somebody's house, this is, uh, and I don't know where I'm at, but you can hear me. I'm sending, sending my thought transmissions. I'm, I'm in somebody's house, and they're turning off the lights, and I don't know where I'm at. I'm pretty sure I'm missing CSI. This is a recut of now what I need you to do is I need you to send me some help. All right, send me some help and send me something to drink because I'm thirsty. My mouth dry and a popcorn spark. Now, are we on yet? I don't know how I got here. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here, but I know one thing: even without you, I don't want to live. I do not want to live in this place. People are wandering around all around me. I don't know who, I don't know where I'm at. But if you have any love in your heart and you can forgive me for killing your different vodka, I didn't know that vodka would kill a plant. I did not know that. I didn't mean it. But if you can find it in your heart to forgive me, just come and get me. Okay? Or send me a bus ticket. I'll ride the bus. I don't care, but just get me the hell out of here. I'm sorry about your plan. But every time I took a piss, that thing was in my hair. And you said, well, don't ever bother me, but you don't ever stand up and piss. I do. And you put them plants right in my hair, so I put some vodka in it, and so it died. And I'm sorry. But don't put them things in my hair when I'm trying to pee pee. A man had not to live that way. Now, before I got married, I didn't have no plants in the bathroom. I didn't have a plant on the place. You move in and all of a sudden there's plants everywhere. You can't walk, you can't blow, you know you can't do nothing. 
because there's a plant in the way. And Edna, I want to come home now. If you just, I'll make a compromise. You can have plants all over the place. I don't care. But just not in the toilet. And I promise I will not kill any of them ever again. Send me a ticket. Send me home. I'll mow the yard. I'll get me one of them little masks and little dust masks. And I'll mow that damn yard and you don't have to. And I'm begging you. I love you. But I'm, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I'm sending this out to the airways. Just for me. And now they're watching some kind of a damn program. I, I can't get Hey, it. what are you doing with my camera? I can't get it to you help. Damn it, you ass. Oh, hi. Hello, kid. Okay. Can you tell me if our show is going to be on tonight? Ask them what time it comes on. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. What did yeah. she say? Wow, really? She says it's on right now. How's that supposed to work? Heck, I'm not sure. But, but if we're, we're right here, how could it be on right now? I don't understand Ask that. if we can do it over. Yeah, see, wasn't that a lot better? <laughs>